Hey everyone, it's Sarah and I am here with another layout for the Inspiration Station store which is located in Stafford Springs, Connecticut. And today I am using the Bow Bunny Boardwalk Collection. So I have a picture from college guys. College! Remember those days? Oh my goodness. Um, it's a picture of me and some of my sorority sisters on the beach and we had a mixer there with one of the fraternities on campus so we all went to the beach and had a little uh, luau type thing we had some food and just had a really great time so I have this picture of me and some of my girls and I uh, just wanted to get it onto a page to go into my sorority album that I'm slowly working on so um, man the papers in this collection is so gorgeous so I ended up choosing um, my main background is going to be that really gorgeous beach um, paper and it kind of matches my picture perfectly just about if you can tell <laughs> um, I am going to do some layering underneath it and do all that fun stuff I'm going to use some um, the three different sets of papers to layer underneath excuse me okay so um, I picked a couple of die cuts and those are from Bow Bunny as well I picked a palm tree and a dollar sand or a sand dollar and I'm also going through um, this little package of they're just little um, embellishment cards or journal type cards, so I'm gonna I'm going through and picking out a couple to use. Um, I'm going to use the the one um, the larger one, the four x four. I'm gonna use that as kind of my title, and then I'm gonna use the ampersand, which I'm gonna cut out, and then I'm going to use another one here um, as a little bit of a layering aspect. So I was just going through all of them. You can see how many come in there. It's ridiculous. <laughs> there are like 96 cards in there, I think. It's insane. But that's good. It gives you lots of options. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and put my photo onto the orange paper. I, I debated between the orange and the yellow on which one I wanted to actually map my photo, but the orange was more of a statement and looked more like an actual um, embellishment. Or not embellishment, but... Uh, you know, it made more of an impact. The yellow kind of melted into the picture a little bit too much for me. So the orange was perfect. And I used the opposite side of that paper as well, which is that really nice stripe. So I'm going to use that as a layering, layering aspect and the yellow there. So And then I'm going to put it on this gorgeous, gorgeous, um, it looks like a boardwalk, like a distressed boardwalk there. And I love that. I love that little piece just peeking out there. So that is going to be my, my main layering. I don't want to cover up too much of this background because the background literally matches my photo just about perfectly. So I want to make sure that that's prevalent and that, or, um, that you can see it. Prevalent. I don't, there's no words. The words are not coming to me easy this morning, guys. <laughs> I can't think of words I need to use. Um, all right, so I also used, um, I have that little journaling spot there next to the sand dollar, and that's where I'm going to do my journaling. Um, I like how the colors just go perfectly, and it's subtle enough, but, you know, it's there, and you can see it, but you can still see the background paper. And I cut the 4x4 card that says Beach Sands and Perfect Hands, because, you know what, in college I did have a perfect tan, and I miss that. <laughs> I do not have a perfect tan anymore. If I go out in the sun, I burn. So, <laughs> um, so that's going to be my title. And I'm going to cut out this ampersand here from this card. And I, I made sure to have a little bit of a border around it so that it stands out a little bit more. And I'm going to nestle it right there. And then I have the palm tree and the sand dollar right there as well. I like how the palm tree just kind of lays over the picture a little bit. And I'm looking at the sticker sheet, the boardwalk sticker sheet, to see what kind of things I could use from here. And I'm going to use um, this little border strip. It, I can't tell if it's supposed to be like gold glitter or if it's supposed to be sand. Like I can't tell, but it looks cute on my page, so it is what it is. So <laughs> whatever it is, it looks nice. I think it's supposed to be kind of glittery sand, maybe something like that. But um, I tore it in half. And I'm going to use a little bit on the top and a little bit on the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and get everything stuck down because I was about to start putting putting that sticker down and realize I didn't have anything else done yet. So <laughs> that's a little important, I guess, just a little bit. So I'm just going to get all these pieces down here. 
And this layout went really quickly for me. You know, I just picked out what I needed. Um, I didn't really overthink it too much. I want that background paper to really show through so I didn't, you know, cover up a ton of it. But I really, really like the way that this one turned out. Um, so I cut a little piece off that red stripe there and I'm going to use it just if there's a little layering aspect. Um, and I'm going to use this little summertime uh, border. It has little chevron arrows on it. It says summertime. Um, and then that little arrow there is just a blue arrow from the sticker sheet. It kind of looks like water a little bit if you look closely. And what else am I going to do? I'm trying to think. I wanted to use like a label or something like that on here. So I'm trying to figure out which one I want to use. <laughs> um, I decided to go with this one here. It's a blue stripe and it's kind of like a banner almost. And I'm going to uh, use these letter stickers and spell out the word mixer because we were having a mixer with one of the fraternities there. I'm trying to get that eye on there. <laughs> I got that down there. And I'm gonna use those Queen and Company orange polka dot buttons for sure. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my journaling done first. And then I'm going to use, I think, three of those buttons. I'm using them kind of like enamel dots, like I would normally use enamel dots, just little accents here and there. But the orange goes nicely because I have some orange in the papers and the ampersand is orange, so um, it ends up going nicely with everything. So I'm gonna put one there, and those are self-adhesive on the back, which is really nice. So just pop them on. And um, I'm thinking about adding one more thing over to um, on the upper left hand corner where the picture is. I'm trying to, there's a little bit of a space there and I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to put. And I decided to put this geotag here and I'm going to write Pensacola Beach because that's where we were. So I want to make sure that I remember that in the future. And that is going to complete my layout, you guys. Nice and simple, um, but very beachy. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know. And make sure you check out the Inspiration Station store. I'm going to have links in the description of the video for you to go check them out. All right, have a great day, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.